<laughs> Let's move on to Richie Mensah speaking about why Miss V left Lynx Entertainment. Um, I I respect Richie on so many levels because in the heat of um, the conversation, in the heat of people and bloggers, you know, jumping on the story of uh, Miss V leaving Lynx Entertainment, he didn't come out to make all chances. I feel like I respect his. Um, how conscious he was of time and um, more or less reading the room and the kind of uh, response it would get it would have gotten him if he came out to say that oh Miss V blah 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 but allowed Miss V to tell her story and uh, after years now he's coming out to confirm that okay Miss V was going through stuff we tried to help her but she wanted to deal with it on her own and uh, she stopped doing music totally and then she we just had to terminate the contract because she set up a new team and I like I like that Google. And also when uh, Miss V uh, was launching her 1030 album uh, that I hosted alongside Bella Mundi, Richie was there. You understand? So you can tell that there's no bad blood. There's still that relationship. And I think uh, Richie was even part of uh, the team that helped with the setup design and all of that. And also, this is to remind everybody that uh, depression and mental health issues can get anybody. Because my first proper crush on any Ghanaian female artist was Miss V. If it can happen to Miss V, <laughs> it can happen to anybody. <laughs> everyone knows, everyone who knows Richie knows Richie. He's not like the one that's going to come out just to come say something to cause attention or claim clouds or whatever. But, I mean, he, Richie said, he said, you need to go out like that. So, if he has come out to talk about this, I mean, uh, Miss V already explained whatever that happened, and for me, for me personally, I know they're on they're on good terms. There was nothing like like a bad blood or some yawa happen or something like that. It was just a mutual agreement, like the way Richie just said. And I feel like so far as they're on good terms, that should be everyone is just being professional about the whole thing. Yeah. So yeah. Um, and I'm really excited about the fact that she's back doing music after going through depression um, and uh, a lot of personal issues. Uh, people always forget that artists are human beings as well um, and they go through just the same way your boss can stress you the same way business cannot be going well for you and then you come back home and meet personal issues and you feel like actually ah, but I me mean, you know the way I stress today and you they come meet me with this energy you know those things like you have to balance work personal life and when both are not going well or let's say one is so dear to you at a point that is causing you so much stress it's going to be crazy for you to even focus on work or other things mm -hmm. and i think that's what she went through and i'm just happy for her that she's she's doing well she seems like she's doing well um and i think it's an example for every other person out there to take their mental health seriously and sometimes you just need to take time off sometimes we are so moved by our passion and what we want to achieve and what we want to do so much that sometimes you're not okay but you want to just keep it pushing because you know you for the hard guy that's toxic masculinity there you for the hard guy you have to swallow everything nah sometimes you need a break when your body tells you 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 feel like you need a break take a break because if miss v hadn't taken a break we don't know the kind of person that she'd be right now and what stage she would have been right now so big shouts to her for taking time off and uh still giving us good music so yeah. big shouts to her